Hello my YouTube friends, if you love Restream Studio like I do, you're gonna love this little trick I'll show you today. I love the versatility of OBS for adding scene transitions, my soundboard, and browser sources, but I wanna be able to add guests with ease and put lower thirds and chat highlights in my live stream without any hassle. Today, I'm gonna show you how to add OBS as the camera source in Restream Studio with all the OBS audio as well. And it's really easy. So let's get to it. If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. Full disclosure, this video is sponsored by Restream. They've been a sponsor for a while and it wouldn't be possible without the amazing audience that support this channel. So thanks guys. And if you haven't taken a moment to check out Restream Studio, there's a link in the description. Go over, check it out, looking around is totally free and I think you're gonna love it. And when you do check it out, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. I'm always wanting to hear about it. To get this set up, we need to install two things. First is the virtual camera plugin and second is the audio program that's gonna take OBS audio and make it usable for Restream Studio. So let's jump into the computer and I'll show you how to set it up. First, let's add the virtual camera plugin. Here's the website. Yes, the link is in the description. Now we install our audio software. And that software is Voice Meter Banana. And sorry Mac folks, this is not available for you just yet. Amazingly, the links are in the description. You can click here to download and install it on your machine. And reboot once you're finished. Let's get into Voice Meter Banana and I'll walk you through your setup options. I know it looks really complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. Over here on the left, you have your hardware inputs, so you can add your microphone here directly. You may or may not want to, depending upon if you're planning to add guests to your live stream. If you're adding a guest, then you want to separate your microphone from the rest of the desktop audio. If you're not, then you can just add your microphone to OBS and you don't have to worry about it. If you decide to add it here, select input device below hardware input one and then select the input device. The letters here at the beginning of the name are just the different encoders. I recommend using WDM since it has the lowest latency. The virtual inputs are set up already to grab the desktop audio, which is perfect. Your outputs are A1 to your headphones and B1 to the virtual input. This is where you have some flexibility to separate your microphone. You don't really want to hear your microphone in your headphones, so under your mic, just send it to the virtual output at B1 and not your headphones at A1, like this. Now your microphone sound will go to the stream, but not your headphones. You can decide to send your desktop audio to your headphones by selecting B1, virtual sound, and A1, audio output or just to the stream with just B1. This is where if you wanna be able to hear guests on a stream, you'll need it to go to A1 also. Now that voice meter is all set up, let's configure OBS for our stream. First, I'm gonna add my camera. So I click the plus under sources, select video capture device, and then click okay. Then I'll set up my camera and add the audio here at the bottom for my microphone and click done when I'm finished. I'm just gonna do a quick test here to make sure the audio is working and I have the correct device. Now I'm gonna click the plus again and select a media source I wanna add. This is just the video that I wanna play in the background. I name the source and click okay. Then I browse to the location of the source I wanna add, select it, and then I select a loop, the clip is gonna loop, and then I select done. Now I'm just gonna organize my screen and resize things the way I want them. Now, if I click back over into voice meter banana, you're gonna see we're still not getting any audio. And that's because audio is currently not being broadcast to anything voice meter can pick up. To fix this, we go back into Mixer and click one of these gears and select Advanced Audio Properties. In Advanced Audio Properties, we want to set each of our sources to monitor and output. This means the sound will play through our output device, usually your headphones, but also go out to the stream. 
But in this case, our headphone audio is being captured by voice meter banana. So now when we flip back over to voice meter, you can see we're getting some audio. You may also be hearing the audio through your headset or speakers. So take this opportunity to adjust the levels the way you want them in the OBS mixer. In voice meter, you have two things that are receiving audio. One is your headphone level, and that's A1. The other is the virtual output at B1. You can turn down A1 so you won't hear the audio in your headset at all, and just push it to the stream. The audio stream that goes out to the stream is B1. Now OBS is all set. All we have to do is turn on our virtual camera. To do that, we go up to the top left and select Tools. Then we want to select Virtual Cam. And you can select your target camera if you want it to have a different name, but I just keep OBS Camera. And then I click Start. And then you can exit out of this. All that's left is to set this up in Restream I.O. Once we're logged into our Restream I.O. account, we're going to go ahead over here to the right and click Enter Live Studio. Now I'm going to go down here right below the preview window and select this icon to the far right. It's like a little cog. For video input, I'm going to go ahead and select that OBS camera. Then for my audio input, I want to go ahead and select voice meter output. Then I'm going to set my audio output to my headphones. I'm going to click advanced settings here and I'm going to change my quality to high definition 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to turn off echo cancellation and noise cancellation. Now the reason why you want to do this is because as you can see I have a video playing in the background but if I was playing a game or something else well sometimes echo cancellation and noise cancellation gets picked up as some sort of background noise and they'll try to garble it all out. So you should probably turn these off if you're using multiple audio sources in OBS so that it doesn't confuse the system. I do, however, turn on the stereo audio input because most of the games or anything else that I might be playing is gonna be in stereo. And once we do this, we're all set up. And you can go over here and still have your chat overlays on your live streams. All of the awesome features that you get with Restream Studio are still usable when you're using OBS as a camera. I can go into graphics and change my logos, and I can even play a video over top of the stream. Now let me split the screen here so we can see both OBS and Restream. And you can see when I change scenes in OBS, it's pretty much immediate in Restream Studio. So you get the best of both worlds. You can have multiple setups with transitions and all the things we love about OBS, but you also have all of the amazing features and the ability to add guests and everything else in Restream Studio. If you wanna see more of what you can do with Restream Studio, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.